Kindersma used me to demonstrate another way Atlas learns. That very stylish suit that you're wearing is actually going to capture all of your body motion to train Atlas to try to mimic exactly your motions. And so you're about to become a 200-pound metal robot. <laughs> the calibration process is now complete. He asked me to pick an exercise. They captured the way I work as well. I am here at the AI lab at Boston Dynamics. All of my movements, my walking, my arm gestures, are being picked up by these sensors. Then engineers put my data into their machine learning process. Atlas's body is different from mine, so they had to teach it to match my movements virtually. More than 4,000 digital atlases trained for six hours in simulation. And they're all trying to do jumping jacks just like you. And as you can see, they're just starting to learn, so they're not very good at it. The simulation, he told us, added challenges for the avatars, like slippery floors, inclines, or stiff joints, and then homed in on what works best. And it can eventually get to a state where we have many copies of Atlas doing really good jumping jacks. They uploaded this new skill into the AI system that controls every Atlas robot. Once one is trained, they're all trained. So that's what you look like when you're exercising. Uh -huh. And what I look like doing my job. I am here at the AI lab at Boston Dynamics. All of my movements, my walking, my arm gestures, are being picked up by these sensors. This is mind-blowing. Through the same processes, Atlas was taught to crawl, do cartwheels. It didn't fare as well with the duck walk. 